we're not going to waste any more time with introductions or any of that. We're going to get right into the music. So without further ado, please start whenever you're ready. Thank you. This one's called In the Trembling. In the stillness and color of my dreams In the torrent of energy sweeping me in its stream In the silence where I hear the voice of my soul In the vortex where I willingly give up control That is where I can feel myself rising so high I can almost reach past the horizon on the verge of the edge of the threshold of almost there in the trembling air in the earth cloud of speed of a galloping horse In the wind that uproots with a hurricane force In the heat of the passion of lovers embrace In the story I read upon each stranger's face Spirit moves with the speed of a spark that can fan to a flame hidden deep in the dark and the moth circles in all entranced by the bright lights glare in the trembling air in the music of laughter exchanged with a friend In the hum of excitement that never will end In the song that enfolds you in the warmth of its tone In the whisper that tells you you're never alone In the moment when grace catches you by surprise In the sparkle of life when I look in your eyes The assurance that no one is finally beyond repair In the trembling air And on and on and on and on the dance whirls around In a mad cavalcade of color and sound that cascades all around and resounds and surrounds, I swear, in the trembling air. Next one is a song called Iridescent Blue. Uh, sometimes when I write a song, I approach it from a particular sort of genre exercise, like what would it be like to write a song by this band or in this particular style? So I have to confess this is my attempt to write a Grateful Dead song. Um, but I couldn't resist throwing in a weird rhyme scheme. So like if you're into rhyme schemes, it's like A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. Kind of wraps around that way. So here we go. The sky was iridescent blue When I awoke to my surprise And suddenly I realized that I had lived this life before In the sky an open door 
was beckoning to me and now with clarity I knew one day I must go walking through I see the past and the future now before us and I have to say that neither one is looking good right now but then I see the door and I know it means escape in the cold and gray of a working day my dreams are iridescent blue inside the dead saloon are the ghosts of memories they come floating on the breeze and then they slowly disappear with the passing of the years the ghosts come back and settle in and they remind you where you've been by the light of the harvest moon one day i'll pass through the door of the music but until then i am abandoned here below but even then i know from the pictures that I've seen That from up in space This earthly place is shining iridescent blue And when I first laid eyes on you I knew that it was destiny That you'd be coming home with me And that my wicked luck would change But everything was prearranged the dice was loaded from the start I'd already lost my heart Just to find that you were untrue Like a poker hand Given by a crooked dealer You already know How the game is going to end But I can still call you my friend and my partner in bad luck in the cold design of the neon sign your eyes look iridescent blue in the cold design of the neon sign your eyes look iridescent blue my kind of music i gotta say um because i i love the singer songwriter um i like when lyrics kind of craft a story mm -hmm. um, and I like it even more when the stories are personal um, so could you tell me a little bit about like what cities in particular you went to to as you mentioned Scandinavian towns yeah, so um, well the, uh, the the impressions of the light and the architecture it's kind of an amalgamation of yeah. several several places but most recently the, the city that really gave the inspiration to this was in Sweden it was a, a little university town called Lund which has been mm. there a very long time um, Lund University has been there I guess since the 17th century something like that and um, for people that are biology nerds uh, <laughs> Carl Linnaeus, the person that came up with the idea of like genus and species and you know, oh. went on to classify half of the natural world at the time seemingly, was a student there. That gives, that gives you an idea That's of just how old the place was. Yeah. Um, but my, my, one of the most vivid impressions I have of that visit was when I arrived in the city, it was, of course it was morning, you know, when you fly over to Europe and you get there and it's like morning when you finally arrive. And my hotel wasn't going to be ready until like three o'clock so i had six hours of time to kill you know, i was carrying this rolling suitcase on cobblestone streets and that wasn't working out very well so i eventually found the public library and of course i couldn't read the language but it was a place to sit and just kind of you know people watch for a while and then i found this place for lunch and then as i left lunch i saw that there was this crowd of people sitting on the steps in front of the public library and it was a pretty large crowd and it was around lunch hour at that time, and I thought, oh, well, maybe this is like the Swedish version of a siesta or something. Everyone takes a lunch break at the same time, and they all sit out in the sun. This sounds wonderful. <laughs> so I joined this crowd of people, you know, not knowing what was going on. And then I heard this commotion down the street, and then this parade came down the street. 
Oh, oh. And <laughs> all these floats, none of which had anything to do with the float that came before it, which is what was really interesting. Like, you, you know, there was a float that went by that was like Hogwarts and all these Harry Potter characters. And then there was a float that went by with these two people dressed up like Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, and they had these, like, they were doing, like, martial arts moves with these missiles, and the float was playing Everybody Was Kung Fu Fighting. You know? and, then, <laughs> and then the next one was, like, you know, like this this LGBTQ float. And, you know, I mean, it, like, everything that follows us, like, what is the theme of this parade? Like, what, what holiday is this, you know? <laughs> and so yeah. I eventually found out that it was the university has this longstanding tradition where the students across the university organize this humongous carnival that goes on for like a week in the center of the town. They suspend classes and whatnot. And then on the last day of the, of the carnival, they have this parade. They've done this for as long as anybody can remember. And they do it every four years. So it's like the Olympics. You know, they do it every four years and they spend the other three years planning for the thing. So I happen to be in the right place at the right time yeah. to catch this parade. So of course, I took all these pictures and posted them on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, well, the, the town held a parade for me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's, I don't know. For me, the universe has a way of making it so the coolest things happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever it's like whenever you get to go, that's when the cool thing happens. Um, so kind of coming back to our side of the ocean, um, I am aware that you're having a solo performance in the Niles Gallery, which was kind of um, the reason why you came on the show. Um, so can you tell the listeners a little bit about that before we get into the next sure, set? Sure, sure. It's going to be March 20th, uh, so after the break. And so Wednesday night, it's, um, it's also the first day of spring, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like the spring <sighs> welcoming concert although I don't know if I have any songs about spring specifically, but uh, it will be at seven o'clock and the Niles Gallery is located in the Fine Arts Library, the Lucille Caudill Little Fine Arts Library on the UK campus, um, just a couple, bu couple buildings down from the Whitehall building. And it's free and it's for all ages. So you, know, you can bring family or what have you if you're listening in the community. Um, about the only issue is parking. I can't really help you with parking. But it is free, and it is for all ages. So um, I'll be playing for two hours and maybe sharing a story or two behind the songs. But it's mostly going to be the music and a lot of different styles and a lot of different moods. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, so just to remind people, that's March 20th yes. at 7 p.m. March 20th at 7 p.m. All right. Well, if you want to get into the next section.